Hey guys, Dave Coker here with Creative Hands Group. Today we're going to be talking about secondary condensation drain pans. Um, right here is one that we had in our attic. It uh, obviously didn't fare so well. This was our third one. The other two rusted out just the same. Um, it has a side out design. So the water has to build up to get out that exit hole and you see what it does when it does that. And with this being so flimsy, just doesn't work good up there. So we've heard of them folding, uh, bending with water in them. Where these are folded up, they get pinholes in the corners and you know create a leak. Um, up in our attic, we had to replace uh, our ceiling. It leaked up there with our first two pans and we had to fix our ceiling uh, because that water went through and we, I was just thinking man this is our third one how do we get something that's a better product than this up there you know homeowner you don't want to buy things three times so I looked around there was one product that I saw that's somewhat what I was wanting to do but very thin again thin wall brittle side out and they don't sell a lot of these because they're so thin wall and you don't have a good way to hang them. If you're to screw into this, they, they crack or break. They're not good secure points on this. Um, so that's a feedback we've heard from multiple HVAC companies and distribution companies. So this is a product we came up with. It is the Bison Pan. And I called it that because it's tough, thick, and stout. It's gonna stand the test of time. Um, it does move a little bit, but not much. You really got to give it a twist on it and try to fold it. Not going to happen. So you look at that, it has a well, goes down to the bottom, drain out. We have patent pending on that. You're going to see that there is a profile there. Goes down to that bottom well, and this thing is thick. You can see how thick that is compared to how thick that edge is there much thicker. It's over two and a half times thicker. You can drill straight into these, anchor them just like the metal pans are with self-tapping screws. No issues whatsoever. Uh, this pan is made out of, it's recycled ABS, and you can recycle it again. So it's pretty green. The bison pan. We're going to go up there and we're going to show you in the attic how it was hung and how it looks. And those of you questioning the belt, it was earned here in Texas in a shooting match. But thank you. Hey guys, now we're up in the attic. This is our horizontal home setup. And that is a pan underneath it. So you see how it hangs under there. Um, also, got the automatic shutoff switch there in case uh, it does somehow get clogged up. And then you're going to see that it just hangs with self-tapping screws right on the side. So just like the metal pans, and it fits under there just great. Um, no more resting at all. And uh, you know, you can see inside of there, ABS drains right down there and out. No worries. Um, this, like I said, the other pan that we had rested out, we had a third pan. And each time we had to replace it, it ended up being somewhere around $375. Um, not anymore. This thing should last the lifetime of your unit. No more leaks in the ground like you see here. That's the leaking that happened down there. Went and messed up our ceiling. Not anymore. We've got bison pan. 